Hello everyone. We are going to explain the 8051 microcontrollers interfacing with external ROM. So first of all, the question arises why we need external ROM. The reason behind is that some microprocessors have no or less internal RAM and uh, this is done by the manufacturer itself so, so that the user can himself or herself increase uh, the RAM um, amount according to the application. Okay, uh, this is the 8051 pin structure. Here the most important pin needed for this uh, interfacing is EA pin. It is active low and at port 30, uh, at the pin 31. And uh, to indicate that the program code is stored in uh, the on-chip ROM, this pin is connected to VCC. And to indicate that program code is stored in external ROM, this pin must be connected to ground. The port 2 and port 2 also play a role in providing ac uh, access to the external address. In 8031 or 8051, uh, the port 0 and port 1 provide 16-bit address to access the external ROM. PU is for the lower address bytes and P1 for the upper. PU is also used to provide 8-bit data bus by using multiplexing called address or data multiplexing. So how to tell PU is used for data path or address path? This is done by using the ALE pin that's address latch enable. When ALE is 0, it is used for data path and when ALE is 1, it's used for address path. So how to extract the address from PU pins? by using address or data demultiplexing by connecting PO to a 74LS373 latch <coughs> and use ALE pin to latch the address. Here we have the 74LS373D latch diagram. Uh, you can see that the, um, uh, the this is the internal of uh, this latch. And uh, here uh, in uh, the left figure, this latch is used to do the demultiplexing. Then we have the PSN signal called program store enable. Output signal of the 8031 and 51 must be connected to the output enable pin of the ROM containing the program code. So uh, to uh, enable the external ROM uh, as we need um, output enable uh, to be high or low according to the um, its manufacturing. So the PSN signal as we can see in the next slide that this PSEN is connected to the output enable pin of this external room and also to the chip enable. Uh, then on and off chip code ROM uh, size uh, is different for different kinds of microprocessor. Uh, in system we still have um, EA is equal to VCC meaning that upon reset the 8051 execution the on chip uh, program first and then when it reaches the end of the on chip ROM it switches to external ROM for the rest of the programming code. Here we can see that for 8031 and 51 uh, when EA is ground it just use the off chip. When EA is at VCC in 8051 uh, it first use the on chip then off chip. And in 8052, uh, again EA is VCC and then it um, used the on-chip program first and then the off-chip. Uh, the program size um, or you can say the RAM size on this 8051 and 8052 is shown here. Uh, that's all about the um, 8051 interfacing. Thank you.